everyone welcome to my channel my name is Donna and I am the Creole crafter today I have two Christmas DIY projects so let's get started here are the supplies that I have I have some of that it's the mop head from Dollar Tree some strings out of that I have some of that faux fur from Dollar Tree and craft square I have some um, fabric from Walmart and a floor foam cone from Dollar Tree. First thing that I'm going to do is take the wrapper off of the cone. And then the next thing I'm going to take the fabric and I want to wrap the cone completely with the fabric and I will be using hot glue to do that with. And today we are creating a gnome. And this is my first time creating a gnome. And let me tell you, me and this gnome had a time today. But I accomplished it and I absolutely love the way he came out. So keep watching and see how beautiful this gnome came out. And right here, I'm just trimming off the excess at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to trim the fabric at the bottom and the top as close as I can. Because I don't want the fabric to be on the bottom to make it uneven when he stains. Or when I place him on a shelf or a table or whatever I'm going to place him. So I'm not going to put any material on the bottom of the cone. And right here, you see where I'm trimming it all off even with the bottom. And I'll do the same thing for the top. Actually, after I had done it, the top really didn't matter if I um, did this step to it because I'm going to put a hat on him. So that part didn't really matter. But you can do it if you like. And I'm going to make a hat out of the faux fur. I'm going to measure it around the top of the cone, like halfway to the top. And then I'm going to cut it and hot glue it. And after I have done that, I'm just going to take the strings out of the mop head and I'm going to cut them down to size and just hot glue them around the gnome up under his hat. And you can put as many as you like, make it as full as you like. And after I had done that, I added a red jingle bell, I added his nose, and I also trimmed his beard. And all I used for his nose was one of those wooden beads. I'm not exactly sure what size the bead was. So I decided that I was going to put a trim around his hat, so I cut a piece of the fabric folded it over, high glued it, and now I'm going to high glue it to the base of his hat to create a band on his hat. And then I decided that I wanted to embellish his hat, so I have a couple of pieces of holly leaves and some silver berries, and I'm just going to use some high glue to attach that to his hat. 
And then I decided that I wanted him to hold a sign, so I took the fabric, cut it down to size to create his arms, and I took one of those pipe cleaners, rather two of them, one for each arm, and I just folded it over a couple of times, inserted it in the middle of the fabric that I had cut for his arms, so his arms can be flexible and movable, and I'm just gonna hot glue that together and then hot glue it each to each side of his body. And what I did to create the sign for my gnome is I just took a craft stick and I took my um, stamp letters and I used some red ink and I stamped in the word joy. I cut the craft stick down to size for him to hold and I hot glued it to each one of his hands. And then Mr. Wonderful decided that he needed shoes and gloves. So what I did was I took some foam board, some black foam board, created, cut out him some shoes. And I also will be painting, cutting out him some mittens for his hands. And I will paint them black because Mr. Wonderful wanted his shoes and his gloves to match. And that's what I'm going to do. And there he is. And I think he came out absolutely gorgeous. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of my first time known. Okay, DIY number two. Here are the supplies that I have for this. I have some apple barrel paint in matte black. I also have a Christmas ornament from Walmart. And I have a shelf sitter from Dollar General. I think it was from the springtime, but I got it out of the clearance bin. And I have some black and red um, buffalo check vinyl which I'm not going to use I changed my mind in the process first thing that I do is take my heating tool and I want to melt the glue behind those flowers that's on the shelf sitter and I'm just gonna heat it up melt the glue and use my paint scraper to um, raise the flowers up off of the sign And I do that for each one of the flowers. After I had done that, I took the black paint and I painted the frame of the sign. And I'm going to save those flowers, y'all. And I probably will use them for something else. And I decided that I wanted to use the scrapbook paper. And I pulled a sheet out of my everyday paper booklet that I got from Dollar General. And I'm going to use some school glue to adhere the paper to the sign. I'm going to take the ornament, take the hanger off, and I will use two tumbling towel blocks and some hot glue to give it that 3D effect, that raised effect. And I'm going to hot glue it to the center of the shelf sitter. And after I had done that, what I did was took some red and black gingham ribbon, created a bow, added some greenery and some berries. And this DIY is finished. And there it is. I think it came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. 
And I hope you like these projects as much as I do. And here is your final reveal. And while you're watching that, let me take this time to thank all my subscribers. And thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome to the family. You guys are so deeply appreciated. And if there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. And don't forget the notification bell. And here is a preview of the supplies for my next video. And guys, always, always remember to get lost and what you love. Bye-bye. See y'all in the next one.